Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Laskowitz. And in this video, we are gonna talk about AI Builder and Power Apps. In my last video, we used Loeb to train an AI model, and then we exported it to the Power Platform. In this video, we are gonna start from that moment where we exported the model. We are gonna open that model and then create a Power App with that model so that we can upload a picture and see what the prediction is of that AI model. So without further ado, let's just go to my desktop and show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. I already have a browser open on uh, make.preview.powerapps.com. You can also go to make.powerapps.com, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can open up the AI builder part on the left side of the menu and then you can go to models. When you open up models, you can see that we have uh, the coffee model here from a week ago. That's the one uh, we used in the last video. So let's open that up. And I already showed you last time that you can also do quick tests here. Um, you can also click use model here. And when you do that, you have two options. You can create a new, uh, new app in Power Apps and use your model in there or you can uh, create a new flow in Power Automate and use it in there. For now, we are gonna use the new app in Power App. So let's select that and see what happens. So it's loading uh, a new app. Here we are. So we get a mobile phone layout um, and we have uh, one screen here. Let's rename that really quick to home screen. And um, that's it for now. On the left side, you have a bunch of icons here. Um, we are gonna go to the data uh, part because we need to add our model here. So let's select add data. And then you can see that you have the tables here uh, of your environment, but you can also scroll down to connectors and AI models. In this case, we're gonna open up AI models and then when I scroll down a little bit, I can see that we have the business card reader, category classification, document layout and analysis model, but also my own coffee model, AI model. So let's select that one and it will get added to the uh, app so that we have it as a data source. So from now on, if I add a component or a, a control to the screen, I can call this uh, data source. And that makes it really easy to work together with AI Builder. So let's go to the um, insert tab and uh, let's look for a media control. Scroll down a little bit more and there's the add picture control. Let's click and drag that onto the screen. Here we are. So what we can do now is we can uh, select this control and then we can upload an image in here. So that's the first thing that we can do. So you can just uh, select, uh, for instance, the cappuccino picture here, and that's it. We of course wanna do more. So let's scroll up a little bit and add a button here. So here is the button and the uh, model is called image classification. So let's call this button classify. And when we do that, we can, uh, yeah, we wanna select this button when we have uh, added a picture. And then when we select this button, it should do something. So here is the unselect property. It's currently set to false, but when I um, um, select this, I can change it. And I'm gonna use the update context formula because I want to have a, a variable here and I want to have a context variable. So here I'm gonna say classification oh. and I'm gonna add something to that variable. And in this case, that's gonna be coffee model dot predict. And it's really nice that the intelligence works here really well because this way I, I immediately know what I need to do. So let's select this one and then I need to add an image and of course, we already have the image in here. And um, when I um, clicked and dragged that control into uh, my screen, I actually added a group of multiple 
uh, controls in there. And we need to upload it image one. So in this case, I can uh, select upload it image one and I can close this down. And now my update context formula is all fine. What it does now, it, it will call the coffee model with the product function and it will add the uploaded image to that um, formula as well. And it will return something. And everything that's returned will um, end up in the classification uh, context variable. And from there on, we can do some other stuff. So let's go to preview again and click classify. And it will take a little while because it needs to call AI Builder. It needs to um, get it through the um, uh, AI model and then it needs to send back a prediction. So let's go back now. And um, we already clicked uh, or selected the, uh, the button. So the classification is already done, but we need something to show it. So let's do a text label and let's just um, do something simple here. And we are going to use classification, of course, that's context variable. Variable. I'm going to hit dot, and then you can see everything that's in the classification. So there's two things. You have the prediction and the labels. For now, we are going to use the prediction. And let's see what that prediction is. And if we look, we can see that it's cappuccino. But there's also something else really interesting in here. Uh, let's move this label a little bit more up. Here we go. I'm going to use a vertical gallery here. And uh, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to change the layout to only title. And I'm going to remove the arrow there. Um, so this is now uh, a custom gallery sample. We're going to change this into the classification dot labels. And why are we doing that? Uh, that's because the classification dot labels part. So it's the labels part within your classification. Um, it's actually a table and tables can be really easily um, uh, showed in a, a gallery. So that's why we do that. And now I only need to show what's in that label or in that labels table. So let's move on and go to the this item that sample heading that doesn't exist. That's only from the custom uh, gallery that we had just now. I'm going to add label and um, I'm going to add some other stuff as well. So I'm going to show the label and I'm going to add some text to it with a dash and then I am going to uh, add this item dot confidence in there. And here you see actually what the confidence is of the model for that label. So it shows all your labels that you have trained and it will give you a one or a zero or a zero dot eight or zero dot nine or some kind of value uh, for how confident the model is uh, that it's that label. And to elaborate a little bit more on that, there is um, something different in AI Builder. Um, and that's not this model. This is the image classification model, but there's also another one. So let me go back to that and show you uh, that. It's in the build part. So there is an object detection model and that will recognize uh, and count things in images. So in this case, we could have done that as well. And then it could show um, the amount of coffee beans, for instance, on the picture, or it can uh, detect that there is a cappuccino or two cups of cup cappuccino in that uh, in that picture. Those kinds of things are possible with object uh, detection, but image classification is just labeling images based on their content, and there will always be one label for um, the content. And in here, it just says how confident it is for that certain label. So uh, in this case, it's really confident that it is cappuccino. So um, it gives me back uh, a one. Um, if I want to change it, this into percentages, I can um, also do something like this. And then you will see 100. Um, 
And what I can also do then is uh, do something like this, and then you see 100%. So this is also really a nice way to, uh, to show uh, the confidence, for instance. And why would you use this? This is probably really interesting when um, you have a lot of labels and it's not really confident about which label it is. Then maybe if it's below a certain percentage, you want to send it to a person and escalate that and, and ask them to uh, classify it again and train it again to make sure that it will uh, provide the right uh, label for that image. So that's how that works. Um, let's show another one as well. So I'm going to change this picture and I am going to use, let's see, this one. Uh, and that's a picture of uh, coffee beans and some uh, black coffee. So let's see what happens when we classify this. And again, it will take a little while before uh, the results are back. And it will give the prediction and, of course, the percentages per label as well. And here you can see what I meant with uh, the percentages, because now you can see that it's 94% uh, sure that uh, it should be coffee beans. And it's uh, almost 6% sure that it should be uh, black coffee. Um, so what we can do here is add another label called coffee beans and black coffee and train that as well. Uh, then it will get that label uh, eventually uh, uh, as the first uh, prediction that they have. So this is a kind of a short, um, yeah, a short uh, video about how you can actually use that load model that you created and uh, export it into Power Platform and then use it in an app. And that's really, really easy to use. You can see how it's, it's just a couple of minutes before you have a really nice app for this. And of course, the design, don't pay attention to it. Um, but um, it's really cool to see that, uh, that, it's, um, uh, that it's that easy to use. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked it. Leave something in the comments if you have questions or you have another topic that, uh, that you want me to make a video of. Uh, and I hope to see you at the next one. Bye-bye.